day. What's our uh, what's Hopefully our uh, gameplay? Uh, podcast topic for the episode. Well, I mean, we've already started talking about D and D, so That's true. we might as well keep the ball rolling. What if we record our D and D sessions and just put them over our Borderlands gameplay? I don't. I don't <laughs> think that'll make sense. I mean, I really. <laughs> That'd be interesting, but, um... Why don't we just record our D&D sessions and put it over Call of Duty Black Ops 1 <laughs> Call of Duty Black Ops 1. <laughs> hmm. I think what we say in this is consistently hey. funnier. Hey, Tyler. What's up? There's a beautiful revolver here. Can you pick it up for me? I'm, like, way far away. Okay. It does pretty. Yeah. Wait. Why are you over there? I'm going to the quest. Why else <laughs> would I go over here? <laughs> you didn't even say goodbye. Just like Don't your parents, bitch. Weapon. Oh my God! Jeremy was in my car. When did he get there? <laughs> the world may never know. <laughs> I just noticed it before we teleported. Oh, that I just scary. teleported to it. Okay. I'm not crazy. <laughs> There's a uh, level 19 shot grenade mod. Where? Uh, grenade thing? Ooh. Ooh, I that. that would be better than what I have. Nailed it! Let's Ow. talk about D and D. What about it? What is everyone's favorite race in D and D? Okay, that's and that's why. a trick question. What do you mean? I I don't want to say that I have one simply because I don't want I don't think I I've played enough D and D. Well, yeah. what's the one you like the most so far? My my favorite character that I've played was my uh, Kenku biotechnician who was on a quest to get a voice box. Okay, fine. We can just do favorite characters we played then. <laughs> I played a uh, a homebrew class in which you could uh, disassemble your own body and disassemble. Jeremy, did you see all these pistols over here? Are they garbage? Oh, no, I didn't. Yeah, they're in the building. Sorry. Continue. What was your homebrew thing, Tyler? Hold on. I'm cutting this out of the video. <laughs> <laughs> no, I played... Ten a, seconds a of silence. Class. It was just... Uh, you, you essentially could manipulate your body by taking off limbs and things and equipping other limbs and things from other alive or oh. recently deceased beings. Oh, wasn't that the biotechnician? Yeah. Yeah. That sounded really cool. I didn't realize you actually played it. I played it way back when I was in high school and we had a group that would meet in Mr. Something's classroom. And, oh yeah, uh, you had a whole freaking like club. Yeah, in Ankeny. Yeah. Oh my god, I just oh. doxed myself. I was just gonna say, oh shucks. They know. No, but since Kenku can't talk, <coughs> I essentially made it my life goal to find a usable voice box in a Kenku body. No, it makes Kenku sense. compatible voice box. Sounds like an interesting. I feel better already. Oh, I just headshot a guy off that machine gun. Cool. What was your favorite character, Jeremy? I don't think I've played enough or, like, got attached to a character enough. How many have you played, I guess? Like, I don't even know. Like, have you played um, anything without us? Uh, yeah, I did uh, while I was, uh, like, you know how I left my senior year for Texas for a bit? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I, there's a group that I joined. Shut up. 
Uh, Chase, hold still. I actually played for a good while and was quite enjoying it. I was like my first like real like D and D experience, I'd say. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't quite remember what I was playing though, unfortunately. What do you mean you don't remember six years ago perfectly? No, L. Of course not. L. Yeah. Like I said, I don't think I got attached to like my character enough to. That's the uh, the whole reason yeah. behind our little things that we're doing in my campaign here. No, I, I get that. I want to create a character a that you really beg like... me not to kill. <laughs> please, please don't kill. I never want any of my characters to die. It's sad. I really need to like go in depth of like my character then. Dang. All right. I mean, I think it's more about like having good development as the story goes on. No, this is true. This is true. I, I need to leave it up for a good potential. It needs to have good potential, but also that a good start. Awesome. I do like totally have my guys like arc planned out though, to be fair. Well, Provided I suppose he doesn't I have die. like JT's watching. Hello JT. Hi JT. We're talking about D and D. My uh I think my favorite D &D. right now is gonna be my arc for Peanut. I don't know how much I wanna give away. But um he he, he lost his father and he's assumes that the clan kidnapped his father but he he may or may not be a boss later in the story in order to shock Ooh. peanut oh <laughs> just oh. make sure he remembers that because i could i could totally see him being like oh okay well and then, <laughs> and then you're like it's well it's the Tyler, guy peanut you you definitely have um uh You'll probably have something interesting to work with with my character then. That's good. I mean, uh, I, f I feel like I've developed something interesting for everyone so far. It's just Peanut yeah. Peanuts has been my personal favorite just because that kind of thing is always fun for me. No, I get that. You keep hitting him. And I couldn't... You, and you keep missing? Him. Yeah. Sad. It is. There's the headshot. You never should have come here and now you're gonna pay. Oh. I just unlocked the perk that will allow me to insta-revive if I lay my turret to you while you're down. Nice. Oh, that's cool. There's, it's only a percentage chance that it happens, though. Eh. What about you, Chase? What's your favorite character? Um, I think my favorite so far is really only my favorite because I spent like six months playing him uh, but I had an ASMR druid named Tadriel and uh, like Tad's whole thing was that he um, like he had a split personality that's um, hilarious he had a split personality and um, like the bad personality was the original one so he like made his good persona to like cope pretty much with what he had done um, and yeah he was a druid turned into dinosaurs all the time and uh, when I wanted to be done with the campaign um, the DM JT um, decided that it would be fun if I came back as a villain so like a month or two after I quit I came back um, like super beefed up and fought the party alongside a dragon nice and oh. um, so the party didn't kill me like me and the dragon got away because like 
they beat my ass enough, I like came to my senses, is basically like how I did it. Um, and like, <laughs> I said, I said to the dragon, and or JT, <laughs> that, I, that I wanted it to be over. And I just meant like the fighting and shit. But JT thought I meant that I wanted to die. So the dragon <laughs> oh, no. chomped down on my head and he died. So yeah. On your feet, soldier. Oh, and the best part about Tad is like so his personality is like the only like trigger for a switch was um like him getting knocked down and he wasn't a tanky druid or anything so he got knocked down quite a bit um but but yeah so like he would just he'd get knocked down and then whenever anyone would like stabilize him or revive him or whatever he'd pop back up and for some reason he'd have sunglasses on like if he switched from tad to chad Chad, Chad to also. Chad. Tad to Chad. <laughs> like, the very first time he got knocked down and switched um, to Chad, uh, he had been Tad for, like, over a decade at this point. So he had, like, super long hair, like, a long beard and everything. <laughs> but, like, Chad came out, he put on sunglasses, and he, like, shaved his face and sh shaved his beard into a goatee. <laughs> Just so you know, he's not the good guy. Alright. There's a to... Siren class Rubble. mod in there. Wait, what? Tyler, Dude, what? Do you have the spark skill, Jeremy? No, but I'm about to. <laughs> Even though we only did a one shot, I also really liked my <laughs> my like evil uh, Star Wars character. Oh, I do have the spark. I remember the Star Wars game. Yeah, I, I don't. Yeah, I don't remember <laughs> his name or his race. No, it's because um, I was a droid. Yeah, well, yeah, I remember... Oh, no, I met my character. Yeah, I remember you were the fucking droid. You were, like, a crazy droid. You got JT so mad, because we were just, like, just evil. So evil! Hey, buddy. Hey. Not you. The other yeah. one. There he comes. There, there she blows. I still it's happening. Keep forgetting that I need to change my not like you. things. Kill thing he not like. yeah. You'll have an increased uh, elemental effect chance, though. Oh, nice. Shoot me! Ready? I'm so confused. Too dang easy. Yeah! Dub. The Sledge's wow. shotgun is available, Chase. Oh, hey! Why- why'd you pick it up? Like to know what that is. Did I? The vault yeah! <laughs> oh, what the fuck? There you go. Sorry about Thanks. that. All good. I'm a thief. I'm a rabber. Hell. Dang. 
Pew pew. Okay, is your guy's favorite class in D&D like also the one that was your favorite character? No, I enjoy the rogue greatly. Jeremy, of the ones you've played. Well, I've played... I'm kind of trying to see what just kind of clicks with me. I haven't really found it yet, if that makes sense. Yeah, I'm just like asking so far. Uh... I've only really played Ranger, I believe. Like, in depth. Interesting. Yo, I'm about to go down. What are you doing over there? Oh my. I'm coming. One of the bruisers is a badass. I can't shoot my... I can't shoot. I, I thank you. Rest in peace, Jerry. I found a weapons case with a rocket launcher chase. Well Take him down. You got it. Come on. Take him out. You're right there. Yeah, that's right. Reclaim. That's a claim your sovereignty. Lots of fire machine gun. Ow. You guys look like you could use some bandages. No, I need some bullets in the back of my head. Ow! Ow! See? He Come here, something. you beautiful bastards. Both of you stand still. You should hit us. to use a revolver. No, you should be using a rocket launcher. <laughs> I the left revolver it in there for has you. a good amount of stuff, though. I don't, Tyler. This is a cool pistol in theory, but it don't it don't do much for me. Hey, Tyler. There's a. Okay, you picked it up. Never mind. Wait, I picked it up. Never mind. I can't read. Where's that last skull? Oh, nice. Tyler, I've never looked inside, like, one of the books for D&D. &D. Um, yeah? Do they, like, have, like a table for you to like roll for like random encounters and stuff it depends on like so i've only read tyranny and then i've read like a couple homebrew campaigns but <laughs> like from the official one when you guys do the uh caravan for chapter four that's essentially what it's doing oh okay and then there's like f like when you're searching through greenest what it gives me is like a table of four encounters that can happen, and it's literally just a d4. Okay. I don't. I don't feel like we ever have people in our party that like talk our way out of stuff. Yeah, that's one thing that I challenged Alicia with, with her character. Yeah. Oh, to have her, like... Since she's on a quest for knowledge, I want her to focus more on the morality of the situation than the actual... Uh, are you gonna give a, each of us tips? For our character then, or just something? Yeah, every, everyone has something uh, unique. 
like Peanut and his dad. Okay. And his no dad. Are you ready to go, Jeremy? Yeah, you can go. I'm just slowly trailing. <laughs> I'm coming. Welcome to Car City. Yep, just hold him like a baby while Do we you drive. Like cars? Yeah, I love that movie. No, like, are you a car guy? No, I'm a human. <laughs> he just like me for real. Who wants to ramp with me? And I stand in front of it. Yes. <laughs> Get all the way on the end. Yep, I was already ahead of you. Wee. <laughs> Bye. Hey, uh, you know, Luck is an old buddy of mine, and uh, by old buddy, I mean asshole that ruined my mom's girl parts. Well, sounds like he's in trouble, so you can yeah. go ahead and try to keep him alive long enough so I can. I know someone like that. <laughs> forgive my aim. I really thought there was more splash damage on those rockets. Our car died! No! Skagzilla bait. Huh? Chase, it's time for Skagzilla. Yeah! Oh my. I forgot- I forgot about the skiffids. Oh, shucks. These things crazy. Go, go, go! Come on, Jeremy. Jeremy. <laughs> oh, yay! <laughs> I'm gonna reload. Hell yeah. Catch a ride! Oh, I no! ran into it. <laughs> <laughs> That's so sad. He's gone. I can't believe he's really dead. Sometimes, when I go to look down my sights, my my gun is like off to the side, like it's to the right of the center of the screen. I can't aim. Hey, bye, Jeremy. Okay. Oh, don't worry. It's not a far, <laughs> far, far run. Not, not at all. You say that. It wasn't far for us. <laughs> I must be nice. <laughs> I'm glad I can fucking do what don't, I can do. Don't worry, we'll kill Skagzilla before you get here. <laughs> I'm already here. The frick you talking about? Quick, quick! Hey, I was gonna do that. Catch on fire. Catch on fire. Never thought I'd go toe to toe with you, did you, puppy dog? Puppy dog. Puppy dog. I'll be in the kennel at home. I'll never forget you. 
<laughs> Remember what they took from you. Ow! Bro, was that a transformer? What was that? Sounds like transformer. I love her. Oh my, oh. Definitely a transformer noise. Really cool I love how I he hasn't hit him. me once. I feel like I've You're done welcome. the most damage to him. You're welcome. <laughs> well, I'm both burning him and electrifying him here and there, so like, it makes sense why he comes out of my ass. I just like when I use my ultimate and I uppercut him and he jumps in the air at the same time, <laughs> so it looks like I punched him really hard. I'm gonna beat him, oh yeah! Whack him.